Phoenix averages about 300 days of sunshine. That is pure solar energy. More homes across the valley are opting for solar panels to offset their energy bills, and I'm one of them. We got solar panels installed about four years ago, and from personal experience, it was the best decision we made when it comes to saving money, and I'm going to tell you why in a few minutes. And I also want to talk about buying a house with solar panels. Is it worth it? Now, before we get into the good stuff, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and share this channel with your family and friends. So, let's get down to business. Due to our long and hot summer days, air conditioning is a necessity here in the desert. I just cannot see life without AC in Phoenix because our summers can be brutal and I'm sure you have already heard about what the Phoenix temps can be during the summer. We run our AC pretty much all day and night and because of that, our electric bill can be wickedly insane. I'm talking about $400 to $500 per month easily, depending on the size of the home. Again, this is normal during the summer months, but that is still a lot of money. Before we got solar, I think our highest electric bill during the summer month was like around $450. And after solar, it was about half of that. In the winter months, our electric bill is less than $50. Now, depending on the size of your solar system and which company you go with, your electric bill can be even $0. So in my opinion, solar is definitely worth it. If you're considering buying a home that has solar, there are a few things that you need to know. First, find out if the solar system is owned or leased. If it is owned, then the process for buying a home with solar doesn't really change. Ownership of the solar panels transfers with the sale of the house and you now own the solar system once the property is transferred to your name. Now, if it is leased, there are a few other options. The most common choice is the lease will transfer with the sale of the house, provided that you, as the buyer, pass the credit check. Other options include asking the seller to pay off the lease before you buy, if this is an option in the lease agreement, or the seller may be able to take the system to their new home, provided that the solar company services that new area, and if this is an option in the lease agreement as well. The key is to read through the solar lease agreement so that you can fully understand your options as well as the agreement itself. So for example, some things you wanna look for are, are the lease, what, what are the lease payments? Are they a fixed amount or does it increase over time? Now, as a realtor who has reviewed solar leases, I've seen lease agreements where the payment was the same amount during the term of the lease. And I've also seen where the payments increase year over year. So that's gonna make a huge difference in your, in your bills. Now, another item to look for is how long the lease term is and how many years are left on the lease agreement. You can also ask the seller to see a copy of the electric bill so you can see for yourself the savings solars provide and this can help you determine if, you, if having solar is a good fit financially for you and your family. Now remember to do your research and ask all the questions you can so that you can make an informed decision. Now, if you're on the market to buy, then I want to give you a free copy of my book, The Complete Guide to Buying a Home, and here's how you can get it. If you are a house hunter, I want to give you a free copy of my book, The Complete Guide to Buying a Home, where I give you tips and strategies to help you navigate the home buying process. In this book, you'll find details like how to search for a home, how to compare your needs versus wants, negotiation tips, what to look for in a home loan, steps to take during a home inspection, and a full rundown of the closing process. See the link below to claim your free copy now. As always, thank you for tuning in. And if you have any questions about buying or selling in the Phoenix area, I would love to chat with you. See the link below for more information. I'm Renee the Realtor, and we'll see you next time.